this, we were always thinking, geez, isn't this really strange that we've been asked to do this? And I think, so. um, crucially, the boys are in music for the right reasons. So they wanted to be musicians. They got signed. We never sent a demo to a record label. We never asked to be signed. They just, you know, were picked up. There's a lot of young people, unfortunately, now due to the old X Factor voice sort of culture, who just want to be famous. So uh, these boys never wanted it. They still don't want to be famous. They just want to be a working band, working musicians, and that's their ambition: is to keep working at whatever level. You know, it's not about being. You know, like it's for your own, it's for your own satisfaction of like you know whether it's recording albums or doing gigs, it's that you yourself are happy with doing what you do and think, well, I, we really put the work in and are happy with the result, as opposed to, you know, uh, anybody knowing who you are, it doesn't really matter. Exactly. Uh, a lot of the people as well, the, the sort of albums that they're in there isn't music that they actually like or, or were made to do because of a contract they signed or whatever, whereas the stuff we do is stuff we feel like we want to do. It's not vacuous nonsense that we just have to put out to, to warrant us being famous. You know, it's the, the whole point of it is about the music we want to play, and even if it's the, Eight people have lessons, or it's in Belgium, or whatever sort of festival it's specifically going to play. And the reaction you see from people, regardless of how many, it's the reaction they feel in the music is what they kind of thrive on. I know it's the enjoy it. Oh, that's immensely so. Really, like, yeah. uh, I, I wish I was doing a gig today. You know, I desperately want to play all the time, and they, I could never do enough gigs. You know, it's just like doing the same can the ham, which is a can of phrase that we quite enjoy. <laughs> yeah. uh, that, um, it's uh, like we can't be sure all the time because then you just you wear out the demand then you know, it's, it's kind of but it's a tactic for me it's for people that like us and they can't see us play. Yeah. No, it's no, it's great. I was uh, found it all really exciting. It's kind yeah. of uplifting. Yeah. I don't know, it's a, uh, I'm originally Leach from and uh, all right. That's what's it's a bit shared terrain in a way. Ross is from Leach. Yeah, Ross is from Leach. Okay, yeah. yeah, the Cannings. Oh yeah, the Cannings. Kind of great. Yeah. yeah. The Leach from Man. Yeah. <laughs> all yeah, good singers. Yeah. Cannings are all good singers. Yes. Even if turned him down, Cannings are all good singers. Yeah. Haven't uh, yeah. uh, mentioned Forrest McIntyre, have we? No, no I haven't. Forrest McIntyre, oh, yeah. director yeah. from Calvin, who's directed in. Don't yeah. mention Joe Dolan, the lady yeah. Charles. Yeah. Yeah. Never got a fix. Never got a fix. Never got an MCT. Oh, I feel disgrace. It's on the road for years with no MCT. Aaron Monaghan. Yeah. Another great actor. Yeah. 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 Devlin Crotty, one of my favourites. Yeah. Is he from the town here? Yeah, yeah. 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 was in the Fireflies one and only video. Yeah. <laughs> we give her a big break, staring off into the middle distance. We yeah. could have a prayer <laughs> if we sat down of all the cabin yeah. men and women that are involved in the culture and arts and been successful. Thank God, on a national scale, and a little bit of cabin arts. You know, it goes way way back. T. P. McKenna. It was in Doctor Who and all that. Yeah. Oh, the he was Captain yeah, Corsi. Yeah. His sister, um, who's in the sketch at the moment, Sally. Sally. Sally lives in the town, doesn't she? She still lives in town. Sally maybe met you personally when you were growing up. But yeah, she should have said yeah. cough. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <exactly. laughs> but he, she was a district nurse. He's not from Cabin Lane, but Culliver Travel was written in Cabin Lane. Yeah. Yeah, in the first Yeah. Yeah. First yeah. fresh lived here. Patrick McGoohan, his family are Kilachandra, prisoner, and all that. Did he get out? <laughs> 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 He's still down the road. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah. I think uh, it's, it's a say on the boys yeah. for, for loan their, their enthusiasm for work. Yeah. Mm. And taking it to a high level, he's had a choice. Maybe he's put a set back, and sure nobody's said boo. Yeah. But you're working at a different level. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. As we do say in Calvin, a different gravy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. different gravy, boy. Yeah, a very rich one. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, that one. <laughs> <laughs> the only fear I have for the only fear I have for the lads, and we uh, as musicians, and we're all it was with the maybe as time goes on, they would probably end up like myself and Paul Cox and probably Tom yeah. Curry. No, as babe magnets. <laughs> that's, that's what comes by. She's going to end up as babe magnets. That's that's what success brings. No, that happened now because I remember him on one chip. Honestly. <laughs> Worst fates. Yeah, worst fates. Yeah. 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 